Hey and welcome back to another video and in this video we'll be looking at menu versus context menu so we're going to explore the differences between them and when you would want to use one audio over the other so let's get straight into it so if you want to learn more about menu and context menu in terms of how the code works then check out my videos in the Swift UI sessions playlist called menu in Swift UI and context menu in Swift UI as well so on our screen we have three different views here and we're going to go through each example so in our first example here you can see that we have an image of a mountain and what I've just done is just applied a height and a you know clip rounded rectangle on it but this time you'll notice that for context menu the difference with menu is that it's actually a modi file so if I actually just run this on the Swift UI preview you'll notice that when I actually tap on the image nothing is happening but on the context menu depending on which example we select you see that one, when you tap on it, you'll see a menu. And on the second one, when you tap on it, nothing happens. So let's just break this down. So on this example here with context menu, in order to actually see it, what you need to do is actually long press or hold it down and then you'll see the actions. So in my opinion, the places of where you want to use context menus is when you want to do something like this, where let's say you have a view on the screen, like an image, and you want someone to be able to share that image you could actually add a context menu to it as an additional action to allow someone to easily share or delete it like this. So this is when context menu, in my opinion, is very useful. Now, if we just go to our other examples here, you'll notice that on our two menus, they actually behave completely different. And what's going on here? Well, in our first action on menu here, when you tap on it, you get all the options. And this is because on the second example, you do get all the options, but this time we've actually added a primary action onto it. So what we're saying on the second example here is that when you tap on it, I want you to execute what's going on within this primary action. And when you hold down on this, I then want you to show the menu items. So you basically get like a two for one when you use the primary actions closure. Now, when would you want to use either one of these two examples? Now for me, it makes sense to use menus when you have like an options, you know, view on your app. So if you want to give someone the option to either, you know, delete or remove something, then it makes sense to add in a menu so you can give them the options to select here. Also as well, it's worth noting that if you have a long list of menu items, you're not actually able to apply nested items within a context menu like so. So a context menu, you just have these two, but in a menu, if I wanted to, I could do the following. So now on my example one, if I tap on this, you'll now see that we actually have a nested menu where we can actually add more actions within it. This isn't possible in context menu. So this is really good if you have a bunch of actions that you want someone to be able to perform and if you need to group them as well. And the primary action, when would you want to use that? Well, in my opinion, you want to use it when you have a button where you can actually perform some kind of action. Like let's say for example, if you had a button here called like edit, but if you tap on edit, it will take you to a screen. If you wanted to, you can actually use this primary action to actually associate quick actions with that button. So rather than you having to tap edit and then go to a screen, you could have it where if someone actually holds down on the edit button, you would then get all the edit actions directly within that button that would then allow you to just automatically take you to that screen and perform that action for you. So that's when I think that is useful. So we've broken each one of those down and the differences and I hope you found that useful. If you did, I'd really love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Also as well, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate if you gave this video a like as well as subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell to get updates whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you all in a bit. Deuces.